Today I'll be showing you the chords and the rhythm for the great jazz funk tune Affirmation as played by George Benson. Hi everyone, Sandra Schirmini, greetings from Austria. You learn the groove and the jazz guitar chords. I show everything note for note, slow and easy, and there is also a slow tempo playthrough towards the end of this lesson. I've made tabs and backing tracks, which you can download from the link down below in the description box. Please also visit my lesson shop at uh, guitarversum.com. And now let's get funky. We are in the key of D major and we have an A, A, B, C song form. The A sections are 16 bars long, the B section is 8 bars and the C section, which is also the outro, is uh, 8 bars long. So we have uh, the song form is 48 bars in total. Let's get started. All right, let's first check out the uh, underlying rhythm that runs through the entire song and then we can add some variations in order to adapt to the melody. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's just play an E minor for now. E minor seven, this is the inner four string, seven, nine, seven, eight, and actually also the high E string if you want to. And we have a 16th groove going on, so this should be your basic one E and E, two E and E. This is what you should have in mind, and this is what your your uh, hand is going alternate uh, picking, alternate strumming every 16th note, all right? And we have, that's the first quarter, one, E, and A. And you do a stop, a rest, then a scratch from above, for, uh, uh, an upstroke, and then a downstroke on the two end. So that's the basic one and really important. That's the uh, the basic groove, the first part. The rest is just fill, filler, uh, chord filler, right? Three, four. Then we have another upstroke on the three E. One E and E, two E and E, three E and another stop. Then another upstroke scratched and then two 16th notes, one down, one up. Okay, everything till here. Then a rest again and then you can add another scratch for the last 16th note when everything starts all over again. Okay, I'll play through this really slowly now so you can follow along and jam along for a few seconds. 
three, four. All right, we start with that E minor 7 chord we just had, 7, 9, 7, 8 in a 4 strings, and maybe the high E string, but usually I just play the inner 4 strings. And the first thing I do is I make a little variation. The rhythm actually stays completely the same, but I hammer on these, right? So I do down and then I hammer. And while I hammer these down, my right hand, who doesn't... Uh, that. Uh, uh, which doesn't hit the strings again, but I, in order to stay synchronized, I play, I have that upward movement in the air. Totally in sync with the left hand. Then another air strum and down, let's call it air strums, okay? And then we have that up strum. Then we have the rest, the scratch, and the down. And the down now has the... Uh, E minor 11, so we play the 10th fret of the B string. Right? Then I remove this again and play the rest of the bar. And the last two are down again and up, but this time not hammered, but played. So we have this really spicy attack, full of attack, dot up. Right? This is the uh, first bar. And again. So two bars. Then we change over to B minor. And I, I chose a B minor 11 because this is the melody. I'm not playing this chord melody or anything, but I just want to... It, it harmonizes more with the melody, okay? It's... It sounds better to my ears, so I play the B minor 11 here. 7, here's the B, 7 of D, 7 of G, and 5 of B. And then uh, on the 2 end I go to B minor 7, so I have 7, 7, 7, 7. Don't play the A string, and also don't play the high E string open, it's just muted, right? Again. And now you feel the rest of the chord, uh, the rest of the bar, sorry. And again. So this is also being played twice. Now we have the E minor again, but I don't go back to this one. I go back, I go to E minor 9 because we have the ninth in the melody. Da, 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 da. So this is why I chose this. And then I uh, sorry, this is seven five seven seven inner four strings, and on the two end I go to the uh, E minor seven by sliding my uh, pinky out, and then for the last two uh, strums I go to the nine again and to the seven. With nine and seven, I mean minor nine minor seven chord, right? So here is the E minor nine bar. And again. So this is also being played twice. Now back to B minor 11, 7, 7, 7, 5. And B minor 7. And again. All right? Then we stay at the B minor. This is the third bar now of B minor. This is because kind of a new section starts. It's not a new section, it's still the A section, but it's now everything goes to a different uh, key. All right, I play one more bar. And then I have, instead of my dot up, I play eight notes, B minor seven, B flat minor seven, one to the left, and now I'm on A minor seven. And this chord, uh, this bar is split between A minor 7 and D9. The D9 is you just go down and you have the D here, 5 of A, 
four, five, five in a four sh strings. You could also play the high E. So we have um, right, and then I go to the G major. That's a two, five, one jazz cadence. All right, this is uh, uses jazz chords in a funky style. Okay, it's jazz funk. G major uh, seven is three. Four, four, three. We never play the A string when we have jazz chords that start from the E string, all right? The A string is being muted, also the high E string. One bar, the second bar is um, the first ending of the A section and will be in the next phrase. So now let me repeat the entire phrase number one for you at slow tempo, okay? One, two, three, Four. Alright, phrase number two is the end of section A1 and these are the last five bars and we come from G major 7 now we go to G major 13 just for change there's no melody here and I wanted to have a little change in the chord so uh, G major 13 just moves the D to E so we have G, F sharp, B and E A string again is being muted, high E string is being muted so we have, this is just half bar and for the two end we go back to G major 7 and fill the rest of the bar and now it's getting funky E9 chord, I slide into the E9 chord which is on a 7, 6, 7, 7 and now I play the high E string actually now I press against it with my ring finger make sure not to mute that D string you have, this has to be convex and this has to be concave. I know this is kind of pervert thing, uh, convex, concave, this, but that's, that's funk style and, and this is actually a funk chord, a blues chord, a jazz chord, you need that so often. You need to get used to this curvature here and this one feels like it's going um, concave. All right, I slide into that, right? rest of the bar is normal and then I do that again for the second bar but for the two end I add the pinky to the ninth fret of the E string which is the 13 so now it's an E9 13 chord and then the rest I put it uh, put it away again and fill the chord with the rest of the standard rhythm Right? And then we go, the last two uh, bars are an A9 sus4. Beautiful chord. A, A string is being muted. G, B, D, A9 sus4. Also the high E string is muted again, as usual with those jazz chords. Just the regular rhythm, nothing special going on here. Okay, here, this is the first ending Phrase number two at slow tempo. Two, three, four. Alright, this is the A2 section and the first thing you do is you repeat phrase number one and now we have the second ending. So where well, we went from the G major to the G major 13, now we don't play the G major 13 but after the G major 7 we play the C9. 
And same as the E9 chord we had up here, but down here on the C, E, B flat, D, all right? And we play that for one regular bar. That's it, standard rhythm. And now we have a cool turnaround, half bar, tu half bar turnaround. F sharp minor nine, same as the E minor nine we had in the beginning. A nine, seven, nine, nine in a four strings. Make sure to touch the low E string so to keep it from ringing if you hit, hit it accidentally. We play half a bar and that's actually, actually already half a bar. Scratch and then the F9. You just move these fingers into here. The index remains. Now we have 8, 7, 8, 8. Um, I can't play that separately. It starts on two ends, so let's do it together. Rhythm keeps going. It's always the same rhythm. And now the same on E minor 9, 7, 5, 7, 7, to E flat 9, 6, 5, 6, 6. Right? This is the turnaround. Three, uh, is it three, six, two, five? Yeah, with tritone substitutes. Right. And now the last two bars of the A section, A2 section, is a D major nine chord. That's five. Here's the D, four, six, five in a four strings. First uh, bar is regular. And the second one, I play a little more, I play instead of just, I also strum the air strums that I had before, I keep, I strum everything now. First four strums. The rest is normal, so slowly. Oh well, look at my right hand, that's better. All right, that was it. And here it is at slow tempo. Three, four. Here is the B section, phrase four. It's uh, eight bars, easy cheesy. We have only B flat major uh, group chords. And uh, here's B flat major, same as the G major we had, right? We just move it up three frets. Six, here's B flat, seven, seven, six. The same strings that we had. Uh, we play two bars of this. And then I could continue for more four more uh, bars to have a total of six, but I have an inversion now. I like that better. Ten, that's the third in bass now. D, here's the B flat, the root, F and A. Ten, eight, ten, ten. Right, two bars. And back to B flat major for one bar. And the 6-9 really goes together really nicely with the melody. So one bar of B flat 6-9. 6, nine. six five, 5 bar these and 6. And then we have our A9 uh, says 4 again. For the first bar and the second bar also, but I keep, let it ring after half a bar. So I just play and let it ring 3-4. One and e two and three four, and that was the B section. Let me repeat that at slow tempo. Three four.
And here is that very cool C-section. And this is where the arrangements are different. Actually, the studio album, George Benson's studio album, has the C-section exactly where I put it now, right after the B-section. On a live uh, on live versions, we have it in different placements, but you will recognize it and know where to put it. Put Just put it where you want, as your arrangements are with the band. All right, um, this is the section where everyone plays the same line. It's a unison line. Lead guitar plays it up here. Uh, we play it down here. Yeah. And the bass plays it down here too, but bass player is an octave lower. Okay, let's get started. And I uh, watch my right hand picking direction. Really important to keep a steady groove. We have two eight notes, so they're down strokes because the 16th notes uh, are altered. Uh, the D string and the B is the A string second fret. Then we have a rest. Then I play the low E string up, rest, F sharp on the second fret, up, rest, right? Then the A string, then the E on the second fret of the D. D is down and the B is down twice. All right, let's play that slowly. And now we have A, A sharp, and B, right? And this starts actually shortly after the beat. So we have three E and E four. Four is a rest. You hear the snare hitting, bang. Okay, so this is not on the snare. This is before the snare. A lot of people do this wrong. Okay, so listen closely when I play it with the playback, right? All right, here is the whole C section at a slow tempo. Three, four. Before I play through the entire tune now at slow tempo with the playback, let me recommend to you my jazz funk lesson. I have a lesson on jazz funk grooves where I show everything slow and easy. John Schofield-like style, if you like that. Also check out my uh, Sunny Comping lesson, which has a similar groove and is a real cool tune too. And now let's hear the song at slow tempo.
I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and you give this video a fair thumbs up. Please share the love and the knowledge and I hope to see you next week. Servus, baba. Thank you.